This video covers the coordinate plane. The origin is at 0, 0. So that is where the two axes meet. That's where the x-axis crosses the y-axis, which we can see is there. An ordered pair is given to you in coordinates x and y. x is always the first value given. And the x value tells you to move right or left. The y value tells you to move up or down. To plot a point, start at the origin. If x is positive, move right. If it is negative, move left. If y is positive, move up. If it is negative, move down. So here we can see we have the opposite of that. Here the points are already plotted for us, and we need to give the ordered pair. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at point A. And again, you're going to give an ordered pair, x value first, y value second. And what you're going to do is start at the origin, and again, x is moving right or left, so from the origin, we can see to get to A, we have to move two spaces to the right. Since we are moving to the right, that's a positive number, so this would be a positive 2. Then, from there to get to A, we are going down two spaces. Down is our y value, and it is negative, so here we would put a negative 2. So point A is located at 2, negative 2. Now let's go ahead and try another one. Let's find point B. So look at the coordinate plane, identify where point B is, and then again, we're going to start at the origin. So from the origin, let's count how many spaces now we are moving to the left to get to B. One, two, three, four. So left is negative, so our x-coordinate value is negative four. Then from that point there, to get to B, we are going to move up, and we are moving up three spaces. Up is a positive direction, so our y value is positive here. So point B is located at negative 4, 3. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what happens when one of the points lies on one of the axes, either the x-axis or the y-axis. And we can actually see point G lies right on the y-axis. So. To get to G, again, we start at the origin, which is this point here. And as far as moving right or left, we don't move right or left. We need to go straight up. So since we are not moving right or left, the X value is 0, which says we stayed at the origin. We did not go right or left. And now we not need to count how many points up it goes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six spaces up. So point G is located at 0, 6.